Hello, in this video, I will show you how you can send a WhatsApp confirmation or even a reminder message to people who book through Simply Book It. Now you can send this with WhatsApp without needing to create the complex API setup. I will show you which tool we are gonna be using. We're gonna be using Whatsable, specifically a product they have called Notifier by Whatsable. Now the great thing about this is that you don't have to set up the complex APIs of WhatsApp because the messages are sent from the Notifier bot. I've just tried it here a few times, it works great. So the way the message comes is simply, you get a message, it will say message from and then the business name, and then the text that you want, you can include attachments, and then if you press on the reply button, let me show it to you here. If you press on the reply button or contact us, this will open a WhatsApp conversation with your own personal or WhatsApp business number. So the message are sent from the bot, and, but if the customer wants to talk to you, they just press on contact us. And the awesome thing about it also is that you get analytics. So you can see how many people have read the confirmation message, how many people pressed on this like reply button here or contact us button. And then also how many people unsubscribed or you can also search for specific numbers so that if someone schedules a call with you and you don't know if they got the confirmation message, or, um, which would make them probably unlikely to show up, you can see if they read it or not in their analytics, which is pretty awesome. Now let's go and connect this in Zapier. Connecting Simply Book Me and Zapier is not the easiest, I will admit. It's taken me a bit of time talking also with support, but hopefully I will make it easier for you. So first thing you will need is go to your Simply Book Me and then you'll see that your URL includes this word. Like I, in my case, I put notifier, but you can put something else here. That, that will be kind of your business. So copy this, I took a screenshot of this um, to make it easier. So this is how it should be filled out. So here is the, oops. So notifier, which is this part of the URL goes here. And then you put your uh, login, the email, the email you created that account and your password. That's the first thing. Then the next thing you're gonna have to do before you press on sign in is you need to go inside the Simply Book Me dashboard, go to this part here that says custom features, okay? And then you will have to type here Zapier. Like if you don't type anything, you'll have this type, type Zapier and turn it on. Once you turn it on, you'll be able to log in. Um, okay, so now let's do a booking just to kind of test how it works. Oh, wait, it's probably this is um, too early now. Let's book for 5 p.m. I'm gonna put my name. Okay, and then we can confirm the booking. All right, now we're gonna go to Zapier. Um, wait, I already prepared here the beginning. So we go to Simply Booking, we get new booking as the trigger event. And now we're gonna test the trigger. All right, we see this booking here, just has the information I just put here, including my phone number, which we're gonna send the WhatsApp confirmation to. Now, as the next step, we're gonna choose the app called Notifier. Now, if you search for Notifier here, you will not find it unless you first create an account here on Notifier, right? Then you need to go, you fill out kind of your information, your, your business information. So in this case, I, I put Whatsable here. So Whatsable is the name that will come here in the message. So when customers get a message from the bot, they will see here the name of your business. And then here's the text that you want to fill out. So you put it here and you put this phone number, which is like if they press contact us to which WhatsApp number are they going to reply. Now press on the API keys and copy the API key. After you copy the API key, you either click on add to Zapier if you're using Zapier or add to make if you're using make. In both cases, it looks something similar to this and you have to press accept invite and build a Zap. After you've done this, move back to your Zapier and you will be able to find the notifier app. So I select that as the action events and message, continue. All right, now here's where we're going to look for the phone number here, client phone. It's important that it includes the country code 
And then you can make your own custom message that the lead will get like, hi, and then we can put Axel. Just a reminder of our appointment. And then let's see if we have some prettier. No, and then you have the time here, but if you put the time like this, it will not show up in a very nice format. So I would recommend to put an intermediate step you use the formate, formatter by Zapier. You choose as the formatter date time. Then we transform this value. You want to say you want to format, oops. Yeah, you want to format date time. And then you put the input will be here. You have to select the plus and choose this here. And then you want to format it to something that looks a bit prettier. So something like this. The time zone, I don't know if this is something we can get from, from the variables here. And then you choose time zone. Let's see if we have it, time, client time zone. And then you put here from, and then you're, the way, um, the way we get it from from simply book me is your, your, your. I think it's probably one of these ones then. Okay, let's continue. Test the step. And then we get it in a prettier format. Great. Now we can go to here. And instead of putting this, you get the step from the formatter, which will make it more pretty. So here you go, date and time, and you get the output. Now we can continue and we can test the step. Oh, let me put another. Oh, I, oh, I had opted out, hold on. Oh, so you see, I had pressed on stop messages. So if a customer wants to unsubscribe, um, they can press on stop updates or stop messages and it will un unsubscribe the user now I want to subscribe again, so I can just simply press cont say continue and it will subscribe me again. So it, it wasn't letting me send a message because I, this, I had unsubscribed accidentally by pressing on one of these buttons. Now I'm back again, so I can press on retest step and this should work now. And we see message sent successfully. All right, and we've received the message and we can see update from WhatsApp. This is the business name I put. Hi Axel, uh, you have a reminder appointment September 11th at this time. Now, if I wanted to talk to this business, I could press on contact us. Again, this gets tracked so you can see in analytics that people press on that button, which is very handy. And this also works nicer on the on the phone than on the desktop. But this would then open a conversation with my WhatsApp here, which is the business. It would be your, your WhatsApp business. In this case, it's my number. All right. So this is how you can integrate Simply Book Me and send a WhatsApp confirmation after someone has booked and simply book me. Very easy, no API required. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. I will also link the, the link to sign up for notifier down there. Thank you, have an awesome day.